After years and years of torture, our entire existence so far has been completely made up of suffering. Because of the Roblox search system, when you are trying to search for a game, we have finally seen the light. And no, I, I don't mean that we're dying. We're not dying, I think. I hope. This might be too good to be true. We might actually be dying right now. We have an update from the Roblox staff, our good friend Donut Salads, introducing exact match search for experiences. And I, yeah, you probably have no idea what that means. So please let me explain. So please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And very quickly, please join my Discord server. The invite code is Chloe Games and there is a link in the pinned comment. Back to Donut Salads, the actual star of the show, the, the main person that we are talking about today because they are the ones that told us about this update. We are thrilled to announce the release of Exact Match Search. That is very difficult to say. Why is it that hard to say? Exact Match Search. Exact, maybe it's not that hard. Maybe I'm just really bad at reading. For experiences, the first of many upcoming search features that will improve Roblox users' ability to find the content they are looking for. Using Exact Match, users will be able to precisely navigate to a specific game through search and developers will be able to search Surface specific experiences they own. Yeah, basically what that guy said. Okay, I feel like we should explain this a little bit further. Basically, if I go to Roblox right now, and let's just say, for example, I search for Arsenal. I don't know why Arsenal, it was the first game to come to mind, but not only, like the original Arsenal, the real Arsenal game does appear and it's the biggest game on this page, but I'm pretty sure that's only because Arsenal is actually a very big game. If it's a smaller game, that might not happen. I don't think the big preview thing automatically applies I think it's just all of them will be small and you you know good luck finding the actual game you're looking for but the rest of these results I why why do these appear when I search for Arsenal I mean first of all we have four people playing a fake Arsenal we have aim blocks weaponry gun game realistic guns weapon kit I mean these at least are all in the same category like they are related to guns shooting games anything like that but they are still not Arsenal. There is really no reason that they should be appearing when I search for Arsenal and especially not Escape Spider-Man Obby or do not play this game with probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen on this website. Craft blocks, yeah, that's Arsenal related. Plane, airplane, aeroplane, fly, that's my favorite game on Roblox. Lifecraft, petcraft, build to survive. Escape, evil, teach, Robbie, kingcraft. Yeah, you get the point. These non, like I can scroll so many times and it's just gonna keep loading more and more games that have absolutely nothing to do with what I searched for. So what this update is going to do is make it so that doesn't happen. Those games don't appear when you are trying to find one, <clears throat> sorry, one specific game on Roblox. So how it works, to use exact match search, users should place their queries inside double quotes. For example, island minigames, you can see the little quotation marks, rather than just island minigames without the quotation marks. I don't know why that has to be like necessary for us to find a game that we are searching for and only the game that we are searching for. I feel like that's how a search system or a search engine, whatever you want to call it, should be working in the first place. But at least we have some kind of an alternative to actually find what we are looking for. And the search will only return the experiences that contain the search terms included by the creator in their experience title. See examples below. So the reason that those other games probably show up is if you type in the description, like any words, people will put tags at the bottom of their descriptions usually. So all of those other games that we saw when I searched for Arsenal, they probably had the word Arsenal in their description. So by doing this thing with the quotation marks, it takes away those that have those words in the description. It's only going to show the games that have these words in the title. Basically, we can see the examples here. We're searching for island minigames in quotation marks. Literally only island minigames shows up and absolutely nothing else. This is a very rare site. I have never searched for anything on Roblox where only one thing appears. The next one is the garrison in quotation marks and there is four. These four appeared, as we can see, obviously, because they have the garrison in the title. Like, that's literally how it works. And then they said that they are actively working on further enhancements to our search quality and the overall discovery experience on Roblox. That, yeah, like, I mean, I did say that, like, I'm pretty sure this is how searches should be working in the first place and we shouldn't need to do the quotation marks. They clearly have thought about this or they've seen the complaints about this, I guess. I mean, it took a very, very long time for this to happen, but it did happen and that's the main thing. So please, the comments is to please 
to go tell me what you guys think about Roblox making it so that searching for games actually works now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.